Yes, once again, wonderful Biafran people, wherever you are all over the world, I just want to make you understand that you are doing well. I'm talking about those who understand what they should do in a time like this. The Bible says the children of Issachar is wiser. The Berean Christians were more noble than those of the Thessalonican. Because there is a difference between the Berean Christian and the children of Issachar. They understand. Of course, we come here every day making you to understand something. And of course, we understand that there are enemies of our people who are listening to us, but we welcome them. We must not forget the simple adage from our ancestors. If a child is wise, what killed his father will not kill him. But if a child is stupid, what kills his father will kill him. That is why we are doing what we are doing. And so you understand the nature, the complex and complicated nature of the enemy that have set themselves against us, this tiny Biafra. Once again, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Isra for the avoidance of doubt. Of course, we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London, the mother station, being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uchi for me for. He is from Abatiti. Abatiti is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who has assured us that we will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And I believe that every one of us is getting used to that term and understanding the mindset behind those words. Of course, Mazu Chuka from for is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader, Mazenan Yukukano, the Prince of Afari Ibeku, heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom, the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost 60 years. He's from Afari Ibeku. Afari Ibeku is in Omoahia. Omoahia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. By the special grace of Chukuki Kabema, I remember George Unibe. I am from Abu Abu, is in Delta State, and Delta State is a Biafra land. We must move ahead to acknowledge the creator, Chukuki Kabiyama, the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. For he has clearly indicated to every one of us that there is a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. We are not only here to ensure that we know the path, but we are here to ensure that we prepare your heart to walk through the path. We must go through this path. But of course, it's the lifting up of our head. It's our guide, the matter both great and small, our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And like I always say, the primordial influence that drives us in everything we do. And so in my humble way, I will acknowledge him this evening. Anye na jage mau, nihina yimara mai, 
ehuna nya ni na ki ubi o ma ge ojuru anya nya daju inwe ge mbangwe o o di honye de ka ge ibu wa fa no mega ani ni ne na ja ge mau our ancestors don't pray the decree the decree we don't pray we decree and everything we do here we decree and believe me it will come to pass before your very eyes like i was saying earlier it is very important we know what ex us as a people and so since on sunday to this very moment we have been studying the characteristic of first thing idiot who want us to fear them I call them idiot because I don't see the best name or a better name to call them. I'm looking for good name that befits them. They walk around the street of Nigeria. They control everybody in Nigeria, even the intellectuals, supposedly, the lawyers, the, 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 the doctors, professors. Most of you did not hear that uh, over 300 and something professors in Nigeria are all fake. They control all of them. These people are stark illiterate. They didn't go to school. And some of you, ignorantly, you call them founding father. When I hear people say, Awolowo is a founding father. Amadu Bello is a founding father. Zeke is a founding father. Tinubu is a founding father. Boko Haram leader Buhari is a founding father. I begin to wonder. Does it mean founding fathers are this useless? Because these are a set of useless old individual who took over the power of the zoo called nigeria leadership of the zoo called nigeria for almost far from the day of independence to the these hopeless useless old stinking idiots they are still there looking for small small girl to be friends no achievement the only achievement they have the legacy they are leaving behind is they loot heavily bank some in america bank some in europe bank some in china malaysia and they are busy using everything in Nigeria to borrow money with all the resources on ground. But you must know them. That is why we are here. And of course, of this series, there were 11 of them, 11 idiots, psychopaths, I must tell you, remaining five. But it will surprise you who they are. One of them is the idiot Yakubu Gowan, he calls himself Gowan. He spare handedly controlled the thought that murdered over 10 million of our people. Yet yeah, they pride themselves over the grave of our people that they have killed. And you know, they say we shouldn't talk about it because it's hate speech. He's still in Plateau State in the zoo called Nigeria. Another idiot psychopath there is Olusha Gwobasanjo. He's so useless that he is he wants to be sleeping, or is he even sleeping with his son's wife? That is your founding father, later writer. But he didn't go to school. He schooled on the internet. Facebook student, Open University of Zoo called Nigeria. He's still alive in Otasango, Ugu State, supposedly. He doesn't know his father. You look at Ibrahim Babangida, he has stroke now. He's still in Mina. He's marrying a woman he kidnapped from my state, Delta State, during the war, the spoil of the war. If Miriam Babangida is listening to me, Bongo Siku, I don't know if your husband is dead. For you to sleep in the hand of Babangida and have peace, I tell you, your children will know no peace, except it is Bongo Siku that pregnant you. But this idiot is still in Mina. He's enjoying his wife's point of war. And somebody say he's a good man, he's a founding father. We are beginning to wonder, like I said, are founding father idiots? Of course, we are going to look at one of them. He's dead already, but he's still alive. Miracle in Nigeria. The idiot called Buhari. He died miserably. They took his dead body to Saudi Arabia to bury him. But then there is another double of him. One idiot there in Asu Rock. He should come out and romance Aisha. Let uh, Yusuf and the rest of the children rally around him. They call him Muhammadu Buhari. Muhammadu Buhari. 
you must understand who they are. It breaks my heart. It makes me wonder. When I see people during election, they begin to shout, he's a corruption fighter, he's watching for corruption, he's fighting corruption. British government are shouting, Buhari is fighting corruption, it's integrity, it's integrity. I'm telling you about Queen of England, Theresa May, all of them. And then we begin to wonder, what is the yardstick of knowing corruption fighter and men of integrity? And of course, blacks that we are, once you hear Theresa May family and Queen of England, and all of them shouting, Buhari is a corruption fighter, of course, a cuckoo bird, you join them. Oh, Buhari come to fight corruption. I hope you are enjoying the corruption. It's next level, next level corruption fighters. Buhari is a corruption fighter. But sometimes I begin to wonder, how do we reason? Buhari in his study become the president of Nigeria. He caused a lot of atrocity. But even at the age of 20, he was in Imo State, raping, causing mayhem, killing people. He was the general who didn't go to war. The general who didn't go to school, who was stationed in Imo State. Every atrocity committed by the Nigerian army in Biafra land, as directed by British government between 1967 and 1970, Buhari was in charge of Imo State, down to the boundary between Imo State and River State. Umuapu, to be precise, then maybe once in a while he strode down to Ilili. Why from Ilili down to the whole of Portacot, Abacha was there in charge. Some idiots were aiding and abating him. But let's leave Abacha now. He's a dead idiot. His children are eating blood money, carrying prostitutes around the world. Of course, that is their lot. All of them, Buhari or Basanjo, your children, even though they are married, they will be idiot patronizing prostitute with AIDS because that blood is blood money and all of them will die of HIV. You have killed so many people, children. Your children will not live. You have created many widows. Your wife will be widow. But of course, their own widow will be very bad. Your children, their own mother will be widow, idiots. So when the world comes out and tells us who is a corruption fighter, and then we begin to question your integrity. You can imagine the president of China comes and tell me that Buhari is a man of integrity. And then I will begin to reevaluate the integrity of the president of China. If Donald Trump will come out today and say, yes, Buhari is a man of integrity, it's only open door for me to begin to question the integrity of Donald Trump. And then if Jesus Christ would come today and tell me that Buhari is a man of integrity, I will question if he ever went, went to the cross. Because the truth is so glaring. But yet, they have to deceive us. We have to accept it. But let us look into their profile a little bit. And maybe you begin to reevaluate your stand when you look those idiots coming your way. Because they can never give you the future you desire. They are lazy, stinking animals. And the only thing that comes to their life, mind is to kill us and feed their people. They don't even feed their people. Enrich themselves. And the British government protect them. Muhammadu Buhari, as you all know, who is dead, currently being represented as the president of Nigeria, in Asu Rock, Jubri, was an officer. He was a president as well as officer. In fact, December 31st, 1983 to August 1985. He was the president of Nigeria. The Buhari who died in office being represented by Jubri. Uvatro Alahaji Shewu Shagari, the one of the fair and free elected democratic president of Nigeria, deputized by Alex Ikwime, the terrorist Boko Haram Buhari, overthrew their government on the 31st of December. 1983. Till 1985, another idiot, Babangida, that we looked into his profile yesterday, overthrew him. They are the one overthrowing themselves. But they don't know that British, game, British government are the one playing the game behind them. Babangida, for these three years, came to fight corruption because they always fight corruption. He reduced Nigerians to beggar. 
they call it austerity measure. Today, with the same principle, Buhari has practically reduced Nigerian to common beggars, ordinary beggar, Bambiyala. Everybody in Nigerian has eventually become Bambiyala because he's fighting corruption. Now, I have told us in earlier broadcast that each and every one of these idiots have a role they play for British government. Gawan was the power broker. He's the one who helped them to neutralize the, the, the technology of divide and rule. And then we look at uh, Obasanjo. He's the one that helped them to liquidate Nigerian currency. With the help of the IMF, shouting Nigerian idiot rulers to devaluate Naira. Buhari is the one who helped them. I mean, Obasanjo is the one who helped them to balance the economics, in fact, the looting of the British government. Buhari aided Julius Berger to steal Biafran resources. They aided Shell to steal unnoticed. In fact, all year rich Bakasi Peninsula, it was Obasanjo that gave it out to Bakasi Peninsula. He gave it to Frank and Fu. Every form of looting on untainted, untraced Buhari, that is, I mean, Obasanjo, that is his anointing. Babangida is the real 419ers and the one who actually perfected the bill, paid the price for complete Islamization of Biafra land. We're going to look at another idiot. They call him Buhari. Buhari's job is to make sure that the moment it looks like the Biafran or the Nigerian zoo citizen are appreciating economically. His duty is to impoverish you and make you a beggar out of you. That is his calling. It doesn't matter whether he goes to school. It doesn't matter whether I understand the meaning of democracy. He doesn't even know people attached to his cabinet. Buhari are working with, is working with dead people in us. He doesn't know them. Theresa May and Queen of England know this truth, but it's not concerned for them. Buhari had only one mandate, and that mandate is to impoverish you, all ye Nigerians. And he's doing his job very well. One of the achievements of Muhammadu Buhari is that he's a war criminal. Like I said, everybody that died from a lily in River State down to Ihiala, Anambra State, all the way to Owerenta, boundary of Fabia, anywhere you call him most state, it was the handwork of Buhari. Buhari is so wicked that Nigerian people are so useless themselves that they were celebrating Buhari. It was it 50 years or how many years of marriage with Aisha Buhari? And I was like wondering, Aisha Buhari was just a victim of molestation at the age of, is he three years old? Then Buhari almost started something, ripped her. And then before this very incident occurred, Buhari had a wife. Is it Rama to they call her? Buhari tortured this woman emotionally. She died. Buhari tortured his first wife emotionally till she killed her. So when you hear Nigeria I mean, raping women and killing persons, when supposedly idiots like Buhari is in power, what do you think they will do? Charity begins at home. I want you to go back and find out, Buhari children, you are listening to me. Children of the first wife of Buhari, you are listening to me. Go and find out what killed your mother. Because you people may still be children. Buhari killed his first wife. Buhari tortured his first wife. The love of his life, emotionality, that woman died. Many people are still paying for that. But I thought he's a moral man. When you people are yapping, he's a man of integrity. Do men of integrity torture their wife emotionally to death? And then he rape another girl. Man of integrity, my foot. But of course, if somebody can torture the wife emotionally to death, like uh, uh, this uh, 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 four man trying to bring out his news, what is his name? If I or four, I'll be, what is his other name? Trying to put his hand inside Barista with your first life. But they don't know what is coming for them. That one is busy using all the small girls to do ritual. Every month he's marrying new, new, young, young girls. He's a rich man. 
idiot. Just pray nothing happened to Jofo. Of course, all of you will answer to it. And so sometimes you begin to wonder, what is the level of morality? Buhari, before he died, tortured his first wife emotionally till death. Children of Buhari, first children, children of the first wife of Buhari, go and find out what happened to your mother. Buhari was inside the prison as an idiot because that, that Sukti and uh, Babangida jailed him. He's a terrorist. And his first wife fell sick. In fact, the person who managed to buy paracetamol for them became enemy of Buhari almost all his life. And when he came out, he disassociated himself from his first wife and the woman in her sick stage. Lonely, painfully, wept and wept until she died. He's the man fighting corruption for Nigeria. For your information, Buhari stole the money meant for the money they call PTF, Petroleum Trust Fund. He was in charge of Petroleum Trust Fund, Buhari. After about four years of managing the resources from Petroleum Trust Fund, like you have NDDC now, Buhari, come and give account. Do you know that the accountant, the auditor, who was supposed to present the document that will indict Buhari, he was born in his house, alive, with his children and his wife, his cousin, I think two other of the aid, aid the housemaid and the gardener. I want you to check the history of Buhari. Anytime he's involved in any matter, you ask him to give account. The people who are supposed to bear testament against him must be burnt. Do you people know when President Obama leaked Buhari into office? Ainek Jiga auditor wanted to give account. He was born in his house in Abuja, but it doesn't trend on Nigerian social media. All those idiots telling you that IPOB kill policemen, they don't let those one trend. We are talking about Buhari. You're a man of integrity, idiots everywhere. PTF, Petroleum Trust Fund, Buhari was in charge. He embezzled all the money without giving account. So when he come and say he didn't have the money to do election, and idiots are saying he's a poor man, he didn't even have money, they bought ticket for him. But the money is with uh, the Queen of England. There is a man know how they help them to skip their money. It's a batch of loot not still coming out. But you have to believe. He never give account. He succeeded in being the only president of Nigeria. Anytime he's a president, he's a president as well as petroleum minister. We don't hear about petroleum any longer because Buhari is in charge of petroleum. When he was a military terrorist, he's in charge of petroleum. He's petroleum minister. Leaked into office by Obama, former president of America. He's still in charge of, uh, he's still petroleum minister. They deceive some of you. I think, yeah, it's fighting corruption, it's fighting corruption. But who is actually checking all the crude oil Buhari is selling? Six years on, or rather five years on, Buhari is still selling oil. Please, who is the uh, petroleum minister? All of you, shame on all of you. No Nigerian is sincere or genuine enough to manage refinery. Only Buhari. But of course, you, you, are, you, are, you are programmed to be stupid as you are. And that is why you believe them. But Biafra should understand. We must not let them babuzu us. Everything we are saying is there on record. Buhari achieved great things. That is what we are saying. He's one of the sustainers of hate speech. Buhari went ahead to say that a war against Boko Haram is a war against the Northerners. Buhari went out and said that if he didn't win this election, the blood of chimpanzee and babu, they will flow in blood. This day newspaper carried this information. They threatened this day newspaper to delete it from his website. This day newspaper refused to delete it. Those of you in Abuja, you will know that this day head office in Abuja have been bombed more than five times by Boko Haram. They didn't arrest any of them. BBC and CNN didn't talk about it. It didn't trend on Yoruba Gota media. And of course, this day newspaper, Jim Ovea. Sorry, Ndoko Baigbina. He can't say anything because they will victimize him. But this is the handwork of Buhari. 
They failed to delete that and they threatened them. Buhari is the one threatening everybody. But it's unfortunate that the same Buhari is the same one who is telling you, oh, hate speech bill, hate speech bill. Of course, Yoruba evil people. Adesina is there telling you, he said, must, we must promote the hate speech. I better bring it on. We are waiting for you. Buhari is the sponsor of Boko Haram. One of the chief sponsors. He found Boko Haram. Buhari is the one who overthrew the government of Shagari, like I said. And so as far as Buhari is concerned, his job is to come and publish you Nigerians. Until all of you become so useless, you cannot feed two times. And then somebody will come from Britain and come and revive the economy. And then Yoruba will have to begin to promote them. He's doing his job. He's going to publish all of you. All of you will become poor. They will destroy all your business. But of course, IPOB know who he is. We know the dispensation we are in. We know it's not about Buhari or Jubri. We know it is about the British government of completely subjugating the people of Africa. Colonial master has a way of subjugating the people of Africa and make them feel guilty for the same sin they never committed. And so, Bia France, when Buhari is dead and like he's dead, this man will represent him and die later. But then, other idiots are waiting and they are being trained to take over from where they stop. If we do not stop these evil people who are destroying our life, and then we are going to have serious problem. We must understand them, all of them that are still alive. They are only managing what they are meant to do. And then certainly when they die, they are sending representative already to British government. If anybody have deceived you, that Muhammad Buhari is a corruption fighter. They lie. If anybody have deceived you, your Yoruba pastor says a man of integrity. They lie. Osi Banjo, a pastor of Redeem Christian Church, have you not seen his integrity as a vice president of Nigeria? He's here to comment on the issue of Barista Ijofo. Of course he will. He's a professor of law. If you come out and tell us that the attitude of Nigerian Boko Haram police is justifiable in what they do in Anambra, of course we know they will kill more Biafrans. But we are not afraid of them. We are waiting for them. But we will respond to them at the right time. But we are calling on Biafrans to understand who these people are. Because the only agenda they have is to systematically emasculate us in every way imaginable, and at the end, they will kill all of us. But it is our choice to get ready to stand up and defend our land for all eternity, or else we continue to lament. But understand, the time is winding up already. I'll be back in a minute.
course, our people must understand what is attainable. It is Biafra and nothing more. These people are wicked. These people are programmed to do certain dirty job. These people don't deserve single respect. These people are the problem behind the, the whole of Africa. These people are evil and they must be addressed as such. So when somebody comes up in your way and tell you oh, they are founding father, they are fighting corruption, you begin to question their integrity because they are evil. Of course, at this moment, our lines are open. You are a Biafran somewhere there. You think there is hope for you because you are romancing with Awasa somewhere in Sabungili. May the Lord have mercy upon you. You are romancing with Yoruba going to heaven. They will do for one night side church with you here in Biafra land. Follow you to Lagos. Follow you to America. If your pastor is a Yoruba person as a Biafran, your own misery, you don't know what is coming for you. Because these people don't mean you good. Does Yoruba pastor worship in Igbo man church? If you people going to worship in Yoruba church. But of course, it's hate speech because it's the truth. Our lines are open. You have not joined IPUB. Send your data to the nearest family. Do not rest till you make sure you are there. We are coming out in such a fashion the world has never seen. Of course, they are patiently waiting for that moment. It shall be glorious, I tell you. It shall be glorious. A WhatsApp line, send your data there. The nearest coordinator will contact you. A WhatsApp line is 070-815-4562. Our direct line is 081-221-5242. Seven one. Our direct line is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. The special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. Zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Caller, Good evening. Go ahead, please, my brother. My name is uh, Ifani Ijoma. I'm calling you right now for monitor. Mazi, uh, I want to thank you for the good work. And also, I want to thank our leader, Mazi Nande Carlo, for his good work. And also, IPD members all over the world. Mazi, what happened to our Badista House? In fact, uh, I, since it's since then, and I know that Nigeria government have lost everything. They wanted to kill our bodies so that, so that they will set us back. But it's unfortunate that it's too late for them. Mas, whatever that happens, we must move forward. We must Our land back. Well, if they like it, more than kill everyone. Of course, that is the gospel truth. The zoo epileptic network on its best at that very point. No matter what they do, my brother makes a comment. Very good. Nigeria has lost it all. Buhari, you can see how evil Buhari is. He killed his first wife and rape a young girl. And the episode, some people say his integrity, his integrity. Idiots everywhere. Are you there, caller on the line? Are you there, caller on the line? Hello, Miles, good evening, sir. Yes, this is female line, please. Yes, this is female line, please. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Caller on WhatsApp. Please, no male should call the female line. Very important. Call on WhatsApp. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, hello. Good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is if hello, my name is if I George Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead, please. My name is Ifanya. Will you call me? Stop listening to your radio or I will cut you off.
Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? But you called me. That is the problem with uh, some of you, anyway. Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Caller on WhatsApp, your name and where are you calling from? Good, Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. My name is Chukwemeka. Hold on the line. Are you there? Uh, I'm there. Good, Good evening, evening from here. Go ahead, please. Thank you, man. I'm Agatuku. Gawani Ru. My small camera now. I'm I'm Maria. Go ahead, please. Yeah, me kubo. Omo kuye bi ameke tenu wa anwa kani bi kai yali bo kai yali mete biasa. Come here, come on, need a motor jam and a man. I got on my genic and a chinic and on your line. Now, the Lena Melana, my dear Frabu Bain, when I go here, I'm under me or John. I can not want an ass donkey or do call me or no, I'm going to jump mad. Nanke Moon, near Madame Bevana, the Afra Kaibo. I got not a Biafra. Only a young should be. Iyo bona bi anyi na eme chineke na anyo nye lai anyi ge nwete bani ana go nye ni bi ene meko ye ona anya ni ye na madi na meko na oda parazo nya nwe jebele onwe onya he jebele onwe jebele onwe ai na azo bani ndi na eri anyi rapula anyi anyi aka ka anyi nwele ye anyi ha je eri eke ha na anya choze ha na oburu ye ojo ko it's a honey, which is shining or have ndi <laughs> ọ ana abe ha ka yi no ri bani ara fulani ha ni ka yi nwe ka yi ha nwele nke ha na oburu ojo ko tu ni na na akwado ri ha ja na bi tu ha iri noku chuku ge tibu ha ndu ni ri ga anwo ni ni ri afara ha na akpere e ku tibu ko obu olu ho ya azo okwa na na o ya ka o ga bu ihe ori ri obu na ha yi na ni igbo ga bu lo ho ya ai de nwe lo nwa ni ru do no nwa ni o tokwale anya kpere ana ma nu ku fodo na ji ka ni Tanya <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you very much. Of course, there is nothing going to happen to Barista. Uh, uh, Barista. Nothing. Thank you very much, ma. We must continue. Uh, uh, they will, ma. Uh, they will. Our people must understand. Is it a fan or four they call him? That his leg is bringing out. We have been keeping them quiet, all of them. All of you, our leaders say we leave our door open. Show yourself, all of you. We are taking record of all of you. But for those people who are sincere, who don't know what is happening, you are ignorant. We are trying to make you see the reality. Whenever they tell you Buhari is a corruption fighter, whenever they tell you Buhari is integrity man, go and look at his profile we have revealed to you. And then maybe you begin to re, uh, uh, write the definition of uh, integrity and corruption fighter. Kola and WhatsApp, are you still there? Yes, good evening, my rep. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Good evening, Philippia France, lovers of freedom. My name is Joy Wombo. I'm from Abia State, in Obiungwa local government, Biafra land. Calling you from Ecom Cross River State. Biafra land. Please, I just want to make a contribution for what happened to our barista, barista Ijofo in Orifete. Uh, you know what happening to Nigerian uh, government? They have tried and they think they have done it all. See, we have to address their stupidity because all of them, they are very hopeless. Our barrister is a wise man. He knows very well that they will come for him. That is why he's always on the watch. He is always on the watch. They won't get him. He will fulfill his promises and all the good things that he has started in IPOP. He will finish it. They won't kill him. They can destroy his property. They can burn down you, you, his house. You see, you see, uh, Jesus said to his disciples, everyone who has lost a son, a house, a, wall, a mother, a father, for my name's sake. But that is Jesus. He said they will be yes. rewarded. But we are telling you, yes. a day will come any man or woman that died because of Biafra. Any man or woman that has lost somebody, they are shocked. Many of them are wailing and crying. Believe me. They will be glad in the future that they have to lose them. They don't know, mm -hmm. like, the don't know what is coming for them. Oh, well, let's go mm -hmm. for Paris stage of four. And then when they finish, do you have court? Do you have court? They have started it already. They have started mm -hmm. it already, but they don't know. But of course, we must know who they are individually. A fire of four is a ritualist. He thought he can use the head of a uh, uh, barista, uh, 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 barista, with your fault to do ritual. It won't work he for can't. him. All those small, small Anambra guy he's killing. They should run for him. His head, his head. Will or go for if I or for whatever his useless name is, he's a ritualist. Since I was born, he his has married head. more than one thousand young young girls. Every month he changed wife. Idiot. And they will come his and spray head. money. We are watching them. People like them are the ones it. who are bringing our safu and into our land. They think they will harass and intimidate us. People don't understand. This is not the time somebody will come out and say, I am from Niger Delta and I'm this one and talk nonsense. We shut you down. This is not the time anybody come and say, I won't be able. How we be nanny? He will idiot. This is the time Biafra yeah, must come out people. and speak for Biafra or you shut up your dirty mouth. Idiots everywhere. But let them not worry. We have to do what we have to do. At the right time, we have to respond. God's follow the full step. Two things you have you have to take notice of. Our leader come here prophesying every prophecy he had to divinely usher given to him. He prophesied. Only one of them has not come to pass. Others are manifesting on daily basis. And that is they will kill us and we will kill them. And then Biafra will come. But having said that, our people must understand that there was a time they say, nobody is saying anything. Nobody is saying anything. We have passed that stage. 
Now you are saying that hey, they are saying and saying and saying they are talking, 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 talking. It is talking, 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 talking because very soon you will very still soon say, will start you will still say shooting, shooting, shooting. Yes. Go ahead, Definitely. My Let it not be a surprise to them because they, as they are gallivanting now, feeling that they have arrived. They have not arrived. They have not arrived because all of them we put to shame. But it's stage of four we live and testify in Biafra, not in any, any other land, in Biafra land. Not what happened to our brother. He will live and testify the goodness of Chico Kikabiyama. Let them be doing all the nonsense. They are wearing army uniform, these guys of Boko Haram, thinking that you are not seeing them. We are keeping the record. Just imagine them. When it comes to poli Nigerian police, it's only in Nigeria. This evil forest concussion that British made and called them Nigerian. It's only here that you will come and see one lunatic, one lunatic that calls himself police officer. Giving civilian his cadeda, your identity, to win, to stand by the road and be collecting money for you. Can you imagine nonsense? After they might have degraded themselves to that level and they want to carry their nonsense character to Barista your first house, thinking that they will get him, they won't get him. Very soon, we are going we, to make our forward to claim. Do want to claim Van Dan? He should go and ask Raja Sukurocha. We have not even talked to all of any of these CDO2. We have not talked to any of them. We yes. have gone to North and, and build a, a school, build whatever nonsense that he's building in order to take glory and come back to be a friend. He should come he and be the Igbo president now. Let him come for Igbo president. He, cannot, he can never really. walk. He cannot. Thank you very much. So let them continue to fool in themselves. At the end of the day, they will all stand on a very good day and help Biafra because Biafra must come and they must help Biafra. I sign off from here. Thank from you very me much. in Ecom. We must go home. Are you there, caller on the line? Caller on the line, are you there? Caller on the line? Of course, that is through Epileptic Network. Caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Caller on the line. Caller on the line. Yeah, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. This is female line, please. This is female line, please. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Call on WhatsApp. Of course, you epileptic network is playing his through. Call on the line, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ivan from other state. I'm calling from Maba. Go ahead, please. Yes, my contribution is that Nigeria army or police, they are making a mistake by pursuing the Biafra people. Because if if maybe I, I, I carry the hand girl, as she said that she wants to go, but she said of stay with me. Oh, what I was supposed to do, I would just let her to go. We have told them that you don't want to stay with them again. They shall allow us to be on our own. They refuse. What they want, all I'm praying for that, the Chico Pika Diama, one day, our prayer must be answered. Whatever they like, whether Conway or Conway, Buhari say, Buhari no day, all we are praying for, even this Abba, is that one day, it will be like a dream. Because they say, our prayer of today, course we must continue if it's network we shall know but if it's not we shall know caller on the line are you there good evening from here go ahead please
single nation but we are considering their conspiracy all of them are gathering now to steal resources all of them are still gathering they are colluding according to Tiwa Danjuma 
one of the idiots to fight Biafra, as they did before. We are considering all of your stand. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Good evening. You are blessed. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. The name of the Lord rest upon you for his blessings in Jesus' name. The Lord bless our leader, Nandi Okukano, and all the people working with him. The Lord bless all the radio Biafra presenters and keep them. The Lord make his face shine upon them and be gracious to them. The Lord turn his face towards them and give them peace. The name of the Lord rest upon them for his blessings in Jesus' name. The Lord bless Biafra land and the people of Biafra and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. The name of the Lord rest upon us for his blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Son, my name is Evangelist Gladys Nachi. As I said earlier, God has sent me on this on a mission to declare his word concerning our land. That his word will empower to be delivered from our enemies. So this moment, the word of God that comes to us is from Lamentation. Chapter 5, verse 1 to 22, and 4, 22. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us the Jephthah. Look and behold our reproach. Our inheritance has been torn over to aliens and our houses to foreigners. We have become orphans and look starved and emaciated. Our mothers are like widows. We pay for the water we drink and our wood comes at the price. They pursue at our heels. We labor and have no rest. We have given our hand to those who hate us to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquity. Servants rule over us. There is no one to deliver us from their hand. We get our bread at the risk of our lives because of the guns on the roads. Our skin is hot as an oven because of fever or scarcity of money. The enemies ravished in Biafra land, the maidens, the maidens in the cities of Biafra. Princes are hung up by the hands of the enemies and elders are not respected. Young men ground at the millstone, boys stagger under those of wood. The elders have ceased gathering at the gates, and the young men from their music. The joy of our hearts has ceased, our dance has turned into mourning. The crown has fallen from our heads. Woe to us, for we have sinned, because of, because of this, our heart is faint. Because of these things, our eyes go dim. Because of the temple of Elohim, situated in Aruchuku, is desolate, with foxes walking about on it. Lord, we, the dear sons, will repent of all our sins and mistakes, and plead the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ upon our land, the African people. Please show us mercy and deliver our land from those who hate us. You, O oh Lord, remain forever. Your throne from generation to generation. Why do you why do you forget us forever and forsake us for so long a time? Turn us back to you, O oh Lord, and we will be restored. Renew our days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are very angry with us. The punishment of our of the iniquity is accomplished. Oh, oh dear friends, he will no longer send us into captivity. Elohim will punish the sins and wickedness of all nations of the world and Islamic Nigeria and all saboteurs, dear friends, who have sinned against the land 
and people of Jaffa. He said, Thank you very much. We must continue. Kola and WhatsApp, are you there? Hello. Kola and WhatsApp, good evening from Hello. here. Good evening, Mazi George Onibe. Go this ahead, is Mazi Echezona. This is Mazi Echezona calling from Joss. This is Mazi. Okay, coming from Joss. Um, I want to thank you, sir, for a good work uh, you are doing in uh, for our country, Biafra. I want to also use this opportunity to sympathize with uh, our brothers <coughs> and our <coughs> people who are affected by the uh, destruction by the zoo police. You know, in what happened at Olifte, Mechuku uh, Kitabiama provide and you know provide for them. And show and show them. I want to also make it clear for the, for the zoo that whatsoever they are doing, you know, in making sure, trying to suppress us, the Biafrans, I want to assure them that it will not work. All their evil plan, all their evil agenda against us, against the Balisa, against our leader, it will not work. Uh, I want to also uh, greet all the IPOB members of, you know, throughout the world who are working hard to make sure that our dream comes true as soon as possible. And also our leader, Mechuko Kikabiyama, continue to protect him and continue to guide him, to go to give him the wisdom and all it takes to make this dream come true. Thank you, Mazi Jojo On behalf of the family in Jos, I say thank you. May thank God you very bless much. you. I'm be with you too. Paula, on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Paula, on the line. Paula, on the line. Call on WhatsApp. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Thank you, my brother. My name is Namazu Almoka, calling from Nasrawa State. My brother, may God bless your heart, bless your family, bless our leader, Namdi Namdi Kano, bless our, our barista, Abu Barista. My brother, like uh, this, our brother we call. We say, "Holy, holy, holy, Nam de Kano is another savior." True, true. This man is our savior. This man is our savior. Because sometimes I listen for this radio. Some people call, give us order, give us order, give us order. Okay. So if you don't know, they give us order since now, see what see what is supposed to happen for us. See, Barry, sir, see what happened for Barry on Monday. Huh? I thank God for this man, Namdi Kano. I thank God for yourself. I thank God for you, for. Mune kine nduni, nduni ni la bambo kia. Kudona achira inu mwe, ime IPOB. I thank God for this, like this, this our leader. Mwe do this kind OB. OBB, he keep our insu together. And yano no go. Because of again, Iye mere na na ba na 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 be ba na ke barista on Monday, my brother. Ebe mo oge mo no dati oge mo na ba. I drum happy. I drum happy. I blame our brothers there. Give us order. Give us order. As now if we go here, damn it, me. Who that he lost up your rebanwa? I watch him in 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 all of them. Don't burn all of them down, 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 down. Now which day they go give us order? Which order go give? The which order go give them? Mazonibe, Mazonibe, Mechiko, Kikabiama, bless you. Bless just Gozorum, Gozerum, no one. No one else did go to some obi obi some people because of getting Yes, Bosobu de Udechara, and Yawaru de Racha. Yemne, Yemne Kuo, one day, one day, Monkey, 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 Jaya, Monkey, I'm not step back again. One day, Zoo, 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 Jaya, I'm not step back again. 
me chuku okike abia ma blessing o ebo obuna di biafra ape onye obuna kwere na biafra no chuku go se onye obuna onye obuna na agbambo kia ihe ai ne me ko ga me me chuku go everybody one by one good night thank you very much we must continue no matter what they do whatever situation we find ourselves <laughs> i will stop there are you there call on the line thank you my brother good evening very much brother man the award winner you see uh man is your to need since yesterday i have not been able to call you because I have, I have, my mind has not been settled on what happened yesterday in our brother's house in our, our parish's house and even in your first segment i've been trying it's no longer easy to go through the line but i'm just i'm just happy that i eventually got through you see, I want to go emotional this time around. So I always call. Now, start listening to the clip, what our barrister said, what happened in his house. I started to shed fear. I said, now, here is a man, a barrister, uh, our barrister, whose name is not in any wanted list of any of the security agencies as a criminal. Here is a man who is as a gentleman parasite as he is. He has never abused any officer of the Republic of Nigeria, starting from the president to vice president, any person, even the, 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 the judge, Binta Yako, even after her displaying her complete incompetence in the courts, but Jofar has never made reference to that. He has always maintained his integrity as a gentleman lawyer. Why will they come to invade his house? What has he done? And somebody, you, you ask the question, what has he done? He has done it because he, he believes in the truth and he believes in justice. Just like myself, I spoke the truth in one of the uh, zoo radio stations. They banned me for one week and I banned myself for one month. Eventually, the same radio station called me back to start calling them again. This is exactly what has happened our barrister, a geofo. They burnt his house for no just cause. Now, I know that this case has gone beyond MBA because now Nigerian Bar Association have not spoken. They have gone moot. They have, they have gone, gone moot move. because the next person they that will come out move. and speak will end up being a victim. And Nigerian Britain will clap for them. Now. Idiots everywhere. And then, and then, even the so-called senior advocates in our country, most of them in the, in the Biafra land, and so many of them in Yoruba land, they have not spoken, our senior advocates, that something happened to a first lawyer by them. They have not spoken. So I, I really don't know what has happened to our, our, uh, the integrity of Rusia or Nigerian Bar Association. Why will you put this back? And now, this case has gone beyond Nigerian Bar Association. It has gone beyond ECOWAS courts. I believe Jeffrey or Ejofo himself will take matter to international court of justice to look into this matter. Does, does Nigeria be, uh, did they respect the law? Did they obey court order? Let us go to international court. At least they saw the video of what Where you say international court? Which one is international court? Every one of them is waiting for Biafra meat to eat. Where is oh, the matter God. we have with them in ECOWAS? We have gone to Abuja, speak English, speak English in the same ECOWAS. Now we are in Frank and Fo speaking French. Before they were taking court, we rise. Now they are telling us, come on, Talibu. I know you see. Maybe it's our Saudi Arabia court. Happening? They will take us to very soon. What about go to the Hague? Have Hague also been been corrupted like ECOWAS courts? I mean, international in the Hague. In Hague, has they been corrupted like ECOWAS court? Because we know now that ECOWAS court has been corrupted, corrupted by a Nigerian government. I, I, I cannot understand. So, with all this video that every whole world has seen, what happened at your court house? A man that has no criminal record, a gentleman lawyer that has never abused any person. Even when things are showed her complete incompetence.
because she was doing all this thing because her husband and her two sons are indicted by EFCC. So what they tell her to do, she does it. So does it mean the world is not listening for them to speak up? Well, I believe that something one day, something will happen. Because in those days, President Nime of Sudan, I want to remove her, I want to remove him from the office. Because he increased the price of bread. President Nime of Sudan, I think in the 80s or early 90s, that was what moved him from office. One day, one day, this Sioux government will surely bring something, very minute something, that will remove them from office. That, that thing they will think is as usual. In their mind, they will think <laughs> it's as usual. But of course, that day is coming closer. It's drawing nearer. And that it is coming. It is spent. Like our leader always tell us that whatever the zoo do, is they don't bring us close. One is that it is a final step to get the African independence. I believe this should be the final step to give us independence from the Africa. So, my brother, George Onyibe, this is your own senior brother, Tokoro from Iberi, the award winner. Let me just stop so far. See you next Thank time I'll call you. Thank you very much. I must continue. Thank you. Paul what's up? Are you still there? Yes, uh, uh, Mas Onyibe, uh, good evening, good evening bro. Yes, uh, actually, I'm just calling you from my wife phone, and uh, I just want to contribute on uh, everything everybody is saying. And uh, I want to appreciate you because you have been doing a very good work for us. And uh, everything you are doing, we are not going to pay you, bros. But God Almighty is going to pay you. And the Biafra will definitely pay you. I know that. That is 100% sure. I just want to contribute on a little issue. See, bros, uh, all uh, fellow Biafrans, I am just uh, speaking my mind. The Nigerian government, they thought, they think that they are going to uh, separate us. But this very generation, with their gun, with their everything they are doing, they are going to unite us even with their gun, and they are uniting us. Because what I saw in uh, 2016 and 17, and what I am seeing today in 2019 is quite different. And the difference is we are uniting. And it is 100% sure that we are going to unite. And we, we, Biafra is for us. Biafra we will get. Biafra we have gotten. Biafra is here for us. Let's say Biafra think that we already have Biafra in our hand. The only thing that we are having is that, yes, that one is sure we have bad leaders. We have uh, some useless people who will, who will thought that they are with us, but none of them is with us. But with what you are doing, with what our leader, uh, Maze uh, uh, Inam Dikalo, is doing, they are, you guys are just doing a wonderful job, bros. I am telling you, honestly speaking, but the assurance I am giving each and every Biafran that Biafra is here with us. We have gotten it already. They will use gun. They will use gun to unite us. And with that gun they used to unite us, we are going to use it to fight them back. That is 100% sure. So, bros, please. That this is just only what I want to contribute in this very issue. I know that Biafra is, is here and Biafra we have gotten. Please keep on doing your good work, bros. Don't be distracted. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Bros, we are 100% with you. Please Thank keep you on doing your much. good work. Thank you so much, sir. God is Thank faithful. You, sir. Yes. IPUB had agenda. They didn't come, our leader didn't come out to try and do Kalu Kalu or Shobi. That is why many people think it's about us Shobi. We move to Foli Saigota, we shout us Shobi, hey, us Shobi, hey. And of course, we are ready for Nigeria more than they can imagine. They are exhibiting their stupidity, dancing naked before the global community, and the world is watching all of them. Good men and women still remaining on the face of the planet. They are watching all of them. And that is one undeniable fact that Nigeria has lost it all. Can you hear me, caller? 
on the line. Call on the line. Hello. This is female line. I don't know why the men keep calling the female line this evening. That is female line. Can you hear me? Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good evening, Good evening. Go ahead, please. This is Kingsley Onoko for sir. I am calling. I am calling from Imo State, Mbisa Presidery, from Mbisa Province. So this is the person that um, sent you a voice tag, uh, an audio clip concerning how the zoo is planning against their friends. So I've been trying. I thank God this thing. I've tried every possibility to make sure that I go related to you, so as to understand what is going on and to hear from you one on one. So I'm glad this might. May the Heavenly Father bless you and your family. Our leader Amaz in and the everybody that is supporting in every struggle to make sure that their pride is actualized. So I am calling now to to let our people to understand the fact. Yes. So there are many people that doesn't believe in this. Many of us here, when you talk to them about this Biafra, they get angry. But I wonder why they are behaving that way. So my, my, my advice to them is that they should wake up this time around because it can be late. Because the level of things in this country now is very wrong, the way things are going. And um, the information I'm getting is beyond expectation. So we are under <coughs> control of the zoo country. So I, I, I want to inform our people, the level of things, they should gather together, put their minds together, help to get this freedom. Because I think freedom is all about what we need in this life. Besides, I, 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 I am very, myself in particular, I am not in order. So I pray that God will help us to actualize this. And everybody that is happy, a son of the soul of Biafra land, should be happy whenever he or she heard about this particular struggle. I've heard what happened to um, our barrister sometime. That was on Monday. So I've read it online. But I'm advising our IPO members that they should stick on the advice or the, the, the directives of um, our mothers, the Amazon and the Kano. So, to avoid making mistakes. Put the work out the danger. Look at them. They are frightened with them. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Thank you very much. We must continue. Our people must remain focused. They, they will run out of plans. They are working on a dated strategy. That is why they are copying law. They are just running head skater looking for how to justify or cover their crime. But it is so disgraceful and shameful that if you just go go, expired country, Nigeria will pop up. Bam. That is how bad it can be. And these the people are still struggling to keep it warm. But it's good we understand who they are and the role that they are playing for the British government. Invading the house of a barrister, if I would draw four, would not change anything. A maker of four can do all he wants, but all of them will pay dearly when the time comes. Call on the line, are you there? Call on the line, are you there? Of course, that is how it is. We must continue. And at least at this moment, we are inching closer to the end of this program. We are friends all over the world must understand. They have only one weapon against us. And that is to intimidate us, harass us in order to instill fear in us. We must be resolute. We must stand our ground. The point is that Biafra will come in the end. Are you there? Call on WhatsApp. 
Yes, Mazonibe. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Good evening, sir. I call you Mazonibe, the bull of Biafra, and the, the motivational broadcaster. I call our leader, the only man on this world that they fired a bomb and the blood of the bomb took him to the temple of Israel to start acquire more power and do the needful. I call George Onibe, the only man that has no nonsense in his, in his own life. These people called the Jews, they are, they don't have sin at all. They don't, I, I want, this is my first time of course. I'm evangelist Ibezim Silva from Aguilera. It's a pity. I watch all the atrocities these people committed in this gentleman's house. It's an insult to Nigerian self, to the Jew. They are not ashamed of themselves. I cannot understand what is going on. I watch and click down what they used to go to our leader's house. And the one person, and they are not ashamed. They did not get the man, and they are still trying, trying to. These people don't have shame at all in their life. But all I know, one day is coming. The blood of the dear friends are crying, and as the blood of Eden. And those people, they are wasting their blood. They think it was just, it will just go like that. No, it has never happened. God is there watching everybody. And everybody must give account of his own work in this planet Earth. Let them continue doing what they are doing. Yes, yesterday, I found myself Firing gun like never before. I was about 12 years when the war started in Nigeria, 1967 to 1970. And we run out. Let her come back. And look at that. Biafra, they destroyed. Burned down. Come to Biafra land today and see mansions go to the whole nigerians you see mansions all these mansions were built by Ibu. their friends are nation builders and they are still uh, angry over our progress they don't know what they are doing even if they burn every place down we will still uh, come ahead and the build one uh, in fact i'm seeing the state where this lawyer will move to this Biafra land that very one that very one they destroyed i see the video i click them down i download all of them but what i'm assuring the world is that their friend is going to come because I see this dream six years ago. The whole Europeans invade their friend land, setting up government, the new government. I, this is my first time coming, as I said before. But Nam the Kano, Chief. I mean, Mazi, Nam de Kano, and the uh, Mazi, which I'm for, and the, you, the, the motivational broadcaster in Biafra. God will keep you people. And all of us will see Biafra. All of us will stand and say, this thing is not too far. I know that Biafra will meet Governor Willie Obiano in this year. That is the how. That is how I saw this thing six years ago. 
and they will not escape the anger of the Lord from this atrocity they are doing to us. I don't have much to say, but God will bless every their friends, every IPOB lady, everybody. This land must be the land that all the world will be coming to learn on how to, because we can manufacture what they cannot manufacture. And that is why the Europeans keep moot. Their friends must come. That is my prayer. God bless every Bia France. God bless everybody seeking for the Bia France. God bless everybody that is working as easily to make sure that Bia France comes. God bless you, my brother. Keep it up. Thank you very much. God bless. God bless you. And of course, this is where we will be drawing the curtain for this evening segment. Having gone through the personality profile of uh, Late Buhari being represented in Aso Rock by an imposter all the way from Jubri. All the way from Sudan, I mean to say, Jubri. Our people must understand who they are, who their friends are. Anybody coming out to tell you that Buhari is a corruption fighter? Anybody telling you that Buhari is a man of integrity? Ask the person who killed Buhari's first wife. He tortured his wife emotionally till death. And sometimes I begin to wonder how people like that can build a nation. Tell them, let uh, Jubri, Roman Aisha Buhari, as they used to do in other room before. All of a sudden, Aisha is running for his husband. His very young gay husband, no? because his husband is becoming younger every day. His young gay husband is running for him. The children don't come close to him again. I thought he's a loving daddy. But all of you who believe in one Nigeria, you are idiot. God will mock you. God will mock you. Just ask Gogo. Aspired country. It will just show you Nigeria. 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 An idiot are fighting to keep one Nigeria. The, the most shameful aspect of it is to see somebody from Britain telling you the territorial integrity of Nigeria. We cannot let anybody to touch it. The territorial idiots. I just begin to wonder, how did these people reason? Or what do they call us? Gogo recognized that Nigeria has expired. But British government is still fighting to keep one almighty zoo together because this is the den of thieves this is heaven for looters they all come and steal and walk away freely deliberately impoverishing the indigenous people so nobody can be able to talk to them but of course we shall see how it is and how it's going to end do not make mistake about it we don't want yoruba land we don't want our safu and yoruba land we don't want to conquer british government we don't want to conquer anybody we want to go home is that too difficult for you people to understand? Is that too much to ask for? For you, genuine Bia France, wherever you are, I say good night as a sign off from here. May Chuko Kikabiyama continue to be with all of you, even now to the end of time. You see? It's more. Mr. Pro. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home, I'm going home, United Nations, I'm going home, Chuku Adama, I'm going home, I'm going back to their friend, going back to their friend, my motherland, be our friend, my fatherland, be our friend.